Hey there everybody, Eric and Luna here from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video we are going to look at the Firewatcher 2.0 harness from One Tigress. As you can see here, Luna has been wearing this for a little while. It's been very good. Now, she's been wearing this since she was literally a brand new puppy, right around the 10 pound mark. At this point, she's probably closer to about 18, growing up quickly, and this has sized up with her. As you can see today, nice and muddy. She's enjoying her time out here, but this has been great. It gives me the ability to do a few different things that are my main objectives. First, it gives me a harness to connect to, the ability to control her. It has a nice grab handle, very easy to get on. And this is durable, made from Cordura fabrics. There's no doubt in my mind she's going to be rough on this. Excellent Duraflex buckles, quality construction all the way around. And it really is, again, at this point, able to be sized as she grows. That's critical. Now, Luna is an Australian Shepherd, definitely a ton of energy, so she's bounding through the brush, running through the mud. She's not going to be easy on anything. And the fact of the matter is, this is working very well, all things considered. With a number of different lashing points, this has been instrumental in my ability to mostly, for the most part, plus or minus, give and take at times, keep her in control, but she just wants to take off. And that again is my ability at times to get the leash, tie it to her and even hold on to her when necessary. Maintaining control over my dog is absolutely critical. And well, she's gonna get into things if I'm not easy, careful. Easy, 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 relax, easy, good girl, easy, good girl, easy. Girl, you stay. Yeah, good girl. Good girl, stay. Good girl, stay. With me. With me. Right here. Now, I do intend on going up to the mountains, and so having the ability to really get a hold of her and pick her up and control her at times is going to be critical. My ability to get her safely up difficult areas and have a nice handle, that's going to come into play. Now, keep in mind the fact that there are models with multiple handles, not just really up towards her shoulders, but also further back that might be a little bit better for deep wilderness excursions things like that if you really think you're scrambling up some gnarly stuff I will probably swap this out at some point in time but this is a great place to get started start training get her used to wearing the harness and at this point she's doing very well now the other thing that I really like I love having both the velcro on the side get a little bit of badging which is cool but it also has molly and bungee the molly working out very well where I'm gonna start to attach things on her sides little med kits some treats the things that we need and at some point she'll carry her own food and water which will be critical while I'm out on the trails and just having a little bit of bungee really cool so I can put things on her back little supplies things like that she's out playing in the mud again yikes my truck is gonna be a disaster but that's the thing about the Cordura material it's going to be water resistant it's going to be abrasion resistant and really have the ability to clean up so at the end of something like this where it's gonna be muddy well I do have the ability to kind of take care of things when I need to but that's the thing about the Cordura material. It's going to be water resistant. It's going to be abrasion resistant and really have the ability to clean up. So at the end of something like this where it's going to be muddy, well, I do have the ability to kind of take care of things when I need to. This way. Let's go. Now, if you want to have some fun, try and wrestle your little puppy into a full harness. It is definitely not the easiest and not when they have a tendency to put their mouths on literally everything. Now, I have tried a couple of different harnesses at this point. You can see my original harness that I went with. It was not nearly as nice as the one Tigress. It didn't have nearly the same amount of adjustability. And actually, it was a little bit too small. And even though my dog is very small at this particular point, it really was a little bit on the small side. But you can see an absolute struggle to get this on my little pup. Now, what was it about the original harness that didn't work? First, again, a little bit on the small side, but second, the handle placement was definitely not ideal. 
She did not find it comfortable. She really, truly never got comfortable in it. It kind of bummed her out, and she never really found a stride. She would actually get sort of depressed in a way and literally sit down. But all in all, it was a great opportunity to practice, and I did find that after a while it was worth investing into the One Tigress, just with the standpoint being the One Tigress being a larger variety of sizes and the ability to actually adjust it much, much better and with a better overall handle. You know what? It's just getting used to it. You'll be fine. So you can see on a number of occasions just struggling to get these harnesses. On my little pup, over time, it definitely did improve. So as we move forward with the One Tigress, the One Tigress design ultimately working much better for me. And keep in mind the fact that I was still putting this on Luna when she was very, very small, maybe starting around 12 or 13 pounds. Uh, again, now she's probably closer to 18, 19 pounds. And really at this point, this harness is literally awesome. She's got a little bit more patience. She kind of sits there when I put it on her and she's much more comfortable in it. Now it has a ton of adjustability, which is awesome because as she grows, I'll be able to size this up and it will remain comfortable for her. She has definitely come to terms with the fact that the harness kind of means fun. She still bums out just a little bit when I put it on her, but at the same time, she's had enough opportunity to get out, enjoy the outdoors, enjoy the wilderness, and now when I put the harness on her, it's not just, I guess, like a punishment or whatever she thought it was originally, but she knows it's time to play. She knows it's time to run around, and every time I put the harness on her, it's time to go out into the woods and enjoy some freedom. Generally speaking, I can get away with keeping her off leash, but if I needed to, I can clip right up to this. It's awesome. So the One Tigress Fire Watcher 2.0 harness has been absolutely awesome for me, and it's becoming awesome for Luna. It is now hand in hand with some fun time. Now, just real quick, taking a step into the studio, we're gonna go through this in just a little bit of detail so you can see some of it close up. Now, briefly, this does come, you can see nicely packaged, comes with little user's guide and then some of the tags. And as I mentioned, just beautifully, beautifully outfit. Your Cordura fabric, your Duraflex buckles, everything about the One Tigress brand products, just beautifully made, 1000D. Cordura nylon, just that real nice molly. And you can see the details here on the back. Nicely done with the shock cord, the grab handle, everything nicely stitched, box stitched where it matters. Your grab handle, that's going to be a stress point on all of your buckles. Just beautifully done. Just a real nice overall presentation. Now, as you take a look at the buckles here, again, nice quality Duraflex buckles. This is just such a gorgeous piece. I mean, I, I, I joke in a way, but like this is what I would want to wear. Like if I was getting gear, I would want to wear this. I would want these features. I would want all of this in my gear so to be able to like outfit my dog with stuff that's just so nicely made i love it i really am a big fan of this i like the fact that there's just a ton of different colors i wanted the camo there you go so the multi-cam which is just really cool i love it and i think the placement of the velcro and molly is about perfect now, keep in mind, you can get pouches directly from One Tigress. So in other words, I can basically leverage all of this Molly to my advantage, either with my own pouches or with the One Tigress pouches. And keep in mind what I had said, I do intend on bringing my dog into the mountains. So having the ability to put pouches on the side for her own little supplies, her food, her treats, her water, that's going to be critical. And where everything is just so nicely stitched, just heavy duty and wonderfully constructed, that's fantastic. But even more, it does have breathability. So you can see the mesh on the inside, a nice amount of padding. This should help maintain comfort for your dog. You do not want to abrade on your dog. That would be a problem. So having nice padding, some mesh, just fantastic. And if you look at the way the buckles are done, everything has overlap. So the buckles fully overlap so that the material overlaps on your dog. That's gonna avoid 
rubbing and plastic going against your dog. You can also get this with metal buckles if you want to. So really, in my opinion, that's about as good as you could ask for. Now, at this point, this is literally soaking wet. My dog learned how to swim today, apparently. Uh, she successfully jumped into the swamp and swam across it, which was kind of cool, but at the same time, a little nerve-wracking. But again, as we take a look on the inside, you can see the Cordura fabric. Now, I mentioned the fact that there are a number of different sizes. This happens to be the size small. This will be too small for my dog in the fairly near future. I'm talking, I have maybe, maybe, maybe another month with this harness. But once she's a full-size dog, I will definitely be able to get another one of these. And I intend on Really, I'd say getting a different model, maybe something with a second grab handle, a little more robust. But this is perfect for her right now. Just sub 20 pounds, a gorgeous overall presentation, very nicely done. So I am a big fan. I am definitely impressed at this from One Tigress. And just to wrap up some final details, again, you can see the buckles, the adjustment. I've kind of tucked everything uh, in a certain way to try to get some of this excess out of the way. I actually did have some of these tag ends just tucked in to maintain sort of a low profile. They have since kind of popped out a little bit, but you can kind of make this a little more tidy if you want to. You end up with some shock cord in some specific areas, little sort of name tag and badging, Velcro fields, which is cool. And then the D-rings in some strategic locations. So on the front of the chest, on top behind the neck and then the ability to again just attach all kinds of things to this having the grab handle fantastic and again just an overall beautiful presentation so i do have to say the fire watcher 2.0 i am definitely a big fan and so all right guys there you have it a look at the fire watcher harness 2.0 all things considered very very cool working out very well for me like I said, generally speaking, kind of giving me the ability to more or less, plus or minus, one half-ish, kind of, like I'm saying, keep control of my dog and give her the things that she needs while we're out on the trails. And so with that, thanks for following along. I hope you like that content. And if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. We'll see you soon.